Howdy, howdy, howdy. Happy to be back again and happy you are here with me. If this is your first time here, I hope you enjoy this content and subscribe. Alright, so what I did all this week. I have been in major production mode in trying to prepare for this month's events. And so <laughs> I actually did quite a lot this last week. So technically it's not a week, it's eight days since my last video. But we'll just call it a week because <laughs> it was a big week. <laughs> All right. And let's see, let's just dive right on in. First thing I got done this eight days <laughs> was some uh, mini baby dolls, but they're not so mini. I did them in chunky yarn instead of um, instead of the Josh Chanel, and I used a I did believe a K hook and yeah they came out pretty good size and so we got four of those done and I'm really happy with how how big they turned out I, I really enjoyed that and um, so yeah and the pattern is on my website so we got those done yay and then the next day we got one chicken nugget <laughs> uh, if you don't know I I tend to up the amount to six if I can uh, you know sometimes more but mostly six and I already had five of these so one chicken nugget and I got one ghost and two bees done this week and uh, the ghost is on the website the chicken nugget is on the website and I have been talked into going ahead and typing up this bee pattern and uh, and then I started the little miniature um, octo octos and I got one done that day and I'll have the link for that one that was not mine but adorable easy pattern I, I like it and let's see we got that done Whew, two days in already wow <laughs> just rolling along Alright, and then the next day we finished up the octos. We have five octos in here. And I know they're called octo high, but my brain does not process that word very well. <laughs> so we're just gonna go with octos. And they're really cute. And it could be a lot bigger if you use the Chanel yarns. I like using them in the uh, worsted weight acrylic because it makes them really small and easy for small gifts. And the cost. I mean, the cost is a lot cheaper with the acrylic yarn anyway. So, but the time isn't. It's the same. No matter what. <laughs> so, Alright. And then the next day we did the last Octo. Really beautiful aqua color. And then we moved on to getting some whales done. And let's see. We got so many whales. <laughs> uh, I think I got uh, yeah five whales done that day because I still had two left over from the last market. No, not the horrible market, but the one before that. <laughs> that horrible market was um, wow, really bad. 
Alright, and then we move on to some bigger things. Oh, I got this done. I love this pattern. It's uh, Timothy T-Rex and it's really easy. Uh, the only hard part about it is the color changes which are pretty easy as well. But um, yeah, really nice big dinosaur and then they also have a mini uh, T-Rex that is a miniature version of that one of the Timothy and uh, I'll put the link to that in the description box but this is the finished result I didn't do any color changes on it I just did solid colors and I think they came out really great so, just to have an, an, another option for size for the event. I decided not to go with the small ones like I normally do because I just, I really wasn't in the mood to do anything really small. My hands were hurting, so it was like time to move to a chunkier yarn, chunkier hook. Okay, and then next up we have some octos, but really large ones. Really large ones. And I got, I managed to get three of those done. And I, I didn't realize until later that they were bigger than the ones, the two that I still have. And uh, the reason why is because when I made those two that I still have, apparently I must have used an H hook and I used a K hook on these. So yeah, they came out quite a bit bigger. And so that will be interesting to see if the bigger sells better. We'll, we'll see. And I also managed to get one axolotl done. And this is my pattern on my website. And adorable. Just adorable. Okay. And then, wow. We're really rolling through it, aren't we? <laughs> Okay, let's see. So then I, I have been wanting to do this for some time because at, at one time all I had was one snake. And I, I unfortunately did it in a purple color, which, you know, is not a very typical color for a snake. And so not a lot of people pay much attention to it. And so I was like really wanting to do the pattern but in you know more natural greens and stuff a anyway so I managed to make another snake and of course it did not come out as long as the one I did before so <laughs> but it's still just so adorable I love that face but in anyway, it's not my pattern. It's somebody else's pattern, and she did the pattern so brilliantly. I love it, love it, love it. And yeah, it needs like a little red tongue, right? Right. <laughs> but anyway, I did this one in um, the baby snuggle from Hobie. In, in green so yeah it was really nice and soft and cute and then I got a little creative you know I've seen the mushy boy and or I, I think that's what it's called and it's not I mean it's cute but I wanted something a little different because 
I'm constantly having to go up against other crocheters in my local area because it is a retirement area. There are a lot of older people doing crochet and so I want it to be a little bit different than your norm because I've noticed a lot of people are doing like the exact same things almost every single market I see multiple booths of the exact same things and it's like okay you know let's try to be a little bit creative you know picking different colors or doing adaptation adaptations you know something do something just a little bit different because yeah I'm seeing an awful lot of repetitiveness and the only difference between this vendor and that vendor is stitches you know the tension the hook size the materials you know but if you get two really good crocheters right next to each other and they're doing the exact same thing it, it tends to turn people off I in my opinion but um so anyway I wanted to go a little bit different so I went with what kind of looks like a cupcake it's a mushroom <laughs> mushroom cupcake <laughs> and yeah it's really cute really really cute I don't know if you can see him really well block myself let's see block myself maybe anyway and, and just a few little dots on top just like and I ended up getting obsessed with making this <laughs> that I have a basket full of them I made eight I got a little crazy so there you go <laughs> um, I guess I could write that up it, it's just a, I mean it's fairly simple but yeah we'll, we'll make this our next free pattern how about that that sound good all right and then of course I have experienced the a uh, typical uh, customer that's like I have my land turtles they are very popular but I, I every once in a while get this uh, touch on the top of the head of the turtle sure wish this was a sea turtle hmm. yeah <laughs> so I went and did some some adaptations to my little turtle my little easy turtle pattern I did a little small adaptation to that and made some sea turtles and here we go <laughs> I don't know if you can see them really well <laughs> not if I drop them right <laughs> but um, yeah really cute uh, sea turtles and no I forgot to put tails so they don't have any tails <laughs> but they're still very cute and I will definitely be adding the sea turtle adaptation but I worry that the adaptation is very very similar to another very popular turtle pattern out there so I don't know I I think I might just direct you to her pattern because it is very similar very similar um, I didn't mean for it to be um, but mine are in, um, my actual uh, pins I, I guess legs, fins, whatever you want to call them, uh, are not actually sewn, you know, not um, crocheted in, I guess. I think that's the way hers is done. I watched her video and I was like, no, that's just not going to work for me. That's too much of a headache. And so I just quickly sewed them on to the bottom 
and there you go. Really cute turtles. Lots and lots of little sea turtles. And I wanted some that were smaller so that I could have, you know, a smaller price point for turtles. So, anyway. So there you go. <laughs> a whole mess of sea turtles and hopefully, I love this little brown and gray, green one. It's my favorite. But I did all different colors, you know. But um, hopefully these will be a winner. Um, I don't know. Personally, I as somebody said in my comments that um, the land turtle is not actually a land turtle, it's a tortoise. And yes, I absolutely know that. I just know that a lot of people don't know that. A lot of people are like a sea turtle, a land turtle, you know. I get it. It's a little off putting for us who do know that they're tortoises, not turtles. But anyway, um, <laughs> that's just something that I did catch that comment and I understand it. But, you know, I just wanted to simplify things. Um, anyway, so we got a whole mess of turtles done. I actually got a whole box full this week of product. I think Joanne's box full of product this week. Um, Alright, and my market is tomorrow and we are expecting beautiful weather. A little breezy. It's always a concern. But, Bruiser, can you please wait? I know, Daddy's in the kitchen. Daddy's in the kitchen. Oh my God. What's he getting into? Uh, <laughs> anyway, my market is tomorrow and it's supposed to be really nice weather and maybe I might need to take a sweater. I don't know. Um, breezy and only 76 degrees. I might need a sweater. Which is really odd because two weeks ago I was sweating my butt off at the uh, pumpkin thing in <laughs> a pumpkin patch. Anyway, so let's hope, let's hope things go really well. I did get the notification of my setup, you know, where they're going to put me, and it's a different layout than I have experienced before so I guess we'll see how that goes um, and then two weeks from now is my big two-day event fingers crossed it is as grand as I'm expecting it to be uh, it's been very well advertised and so fingers crossed it's a really good one and uh, I guess that's it. <laughs> I guess that's it. We'll just have to see how it goes. I appreciate you sticking it out with me and hanging out and making it to the end of this video. <laughs> but I'll definitely get on that bee pattern and I will get on that mushroom cupcake pattern. And there you go. I will see y'all later. Thank you so much for being here. Bye-bye.